Oh, it's a thriller. It's 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 borderline action thriller. It's about a guy. In this case, Luke Blackwater. Is his last name. Luke is a little bit um, down on his luck. It's a guy who's got to make a lot of money very quickly. He goes from one bad business deal to the next. And he's involved with very very bad people. And when we meet him, he's just running. He's already in over his head. His debt to his bookie has been sold. The person that he owes money to has sold his debt. He's already, like, sunk and uh, gets sold down the river. <laughs> we want it paid in six days or bad things are going to happen. There were many traps playing sort of a degenerate, a guy who, you know, is a gambler, a drinker, a hustler, a scam artist, all those things could really lead to um, an, un, an unlikable character, you know? But that's what I found challenging going in. I, I wanted to find the humanity, the human quality to somebody that lives their lifestyle like that, but isn't, isn't a gangster, isn't a thug, per se. And, and I found that dichotomy to be really interesting and challenging. This guy's a loser. <laughs> People think he's, he's an idiot, except court. We've done shady stuff together before, but maybe nothing this shady, maybe. He's got this woman that really cares about him, and I think it's not till the very end that he realizes that. He's of the street, and he has his other pal of the street, a young kid who's hip and savvy and, you know, really knows how to, how to sort of work the streets. I just think it's fun. I just think it's a fun project. I think it's a cool story. I love, I love the character of Josh. I think he's... Uh, uh, you know, I think he's really interesting and a lot of fun. And Yo, dude, I got you some bitches. We good to go. He decides that, you know, he's going to create this reality show for the internet. Hot girls in a house. Dot com, dude. We got the dot com. It's not dot us. It's not dot biz. It's not dot info. They build a kind of big brother house. So it's like a big brother goes online. We all look at the internet. We all have been in places where we've owed money to the mob. Four hot girls in a house. Little do they know that these girls have a history themselves. Tiffy is really a whore. Naomi had a pimp. Now it's a psychopath. Brooke's the cool one. He like Brooke. These girls get involved in it for different reasons. And my character, she gets involved with it, involved in it um, basically because she's leaving an abusive situation at home and kind of stupidly gets involved in another one. But because of her lack of options, though. Alex is just a crazy cool character that I've never, I usually play the victim and I'm, I'm Do not. Do you? Yeah, and I'm always frustrated because I feel like my essence is really more of the provocator or uh -huh. like the vindictive one. And so to play a victim is just like, oh, you know, they had me read for Brooke and I was like, great character. I just, you know, much rather read for Alex. So mm -hmm. I was happy that that worked out. Yeah. The thing about her that I liked the most and that was the most challenging for me was that in her, all of her mysterious ways and all of her like mischievous things, she took a real honest pleasure out of it. She had a, a real knack at um, enjoying the pain she was inflicting on others. Yeah, so. I can really see you. I could definitely see you as Alex, you know? Thanks. You've got that look in your eye. Yeah. <laughs> You've got that look. Hi, I'm Eve Morrow and I play Sophia. <laughs> Check me out online. I want to get my money. <laughs> so she's a really sweet girl. She um, she's a whore or a street urchin, as they say. Um. <laughs> yeah. Street urchin. Yeah. <laughs> Sophia. Yeah. Where's my money? She works for her cash. No credit cards. The only difference between me and her is she's a prostitute. I am Christina Derosa and I play Naomi. Unlike Eve, I felt extremely far away and separated and distant from her. I didn't feel at all like her. Um, so I had some reservations in that. She did a fucking amazing job. Oh, stop. <laughs> I didn't have to do very much. My character really just gets naked and yeah. doesn't talk very much. So. The way that John Millay, the director, uh, allowed us to work, we had the freedom to, to dive deeper into who we were as people. And I think, you know, my intention on day one was to raise the bar for everybody on the set. You know, there were people there who worked a lot, Tom Sizemore, Danny Trejo, I'm big fans of both those guys. Michael Welsh is a young actor, but he's, he's phenomenal. And we had some, some young ladies, some ingenue. 
everybody likes to see somebody squirm. I mean, this guy, you wanna talk about rocking a heart spot? I don't think it can be characterized any other way. You know, if you don't pay this off in six days, they're gonna cut your balls off. Everything that goes on between him receiving that news to the end of the movie is compelling enough to uh, make people want to sit and watch. This movie was gritty, man, and it was dirty and it was real. I'm really proud of this piece. It's strong, and I'm, I'm, I'm really happy.